Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is my Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today, I'll be continuing my playthrough of Midmax Games Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat and zombies. So, let's get to it. Last time around, we spent most of the episode either poaching captains from the miners' conglomerate or getting the scrap together to upgrade our ship, which we have done. Uh, we have replaced our sniper cannons with mass drivers and we have two bomber hangers. Now, unfortunately, as we noticed at the end of last episode, the zombies are getting uncomfortably close to our border so I think the time has come to uh, stop with our expansion in the uh, western end of the galaxy and return our attentions to the zombie threat now it's going to take us quite a while to get back over there so what I'm going to do is I am going to cut all of that out for you and we are going to head towards uh, our forward base over here. And after we do that, uh, that's not what I was going to say. And uh, once I get there, I will be back with you. You know what I mean. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not doing too well today, am I? It's not exactly the most auspicious start. I will see you soon. So here I am back at Kappa and it looks like I made the correct decision because as you can see there is only one territory left for the zombie alpha to take. And as you can also see he came up here and retook this star base after taking this one. So I think we all know where he is going to next. If I hadn't come back when I did I have a bad feeling he would have taken all the territories and he probably would have started on me next. Then again, maybe not, because the people I left in charge have heavily fortified these territories already, which is excellent. Let's just check, yes, Kappa has been fully expanded, which is fantastic. And what are we going to do? Okay. I think what we will do is exactly as planned. We will go into zombie territory. We will destroy zombies. We will destroy zombie star bases. We will basically make a nuisance out of ourselves. Oh, um, I already dropped off my parts and um, superfluous um, goons and what have you. So you didn't have to put up with that. And... Now let's get on with what you do want to see, which is me fighting zombies. Okay, this should be a fairly easy fight as long as no zombies come to help out. But let's just see. It's been a while since I attacked a zombie base and... Wow, God. Wow. Single salvo with... The mass drivers takes out a infected asteroid, which is awesome. So let's... In the middle. Bang. It's dead? No, it's not dead. I missed it that time, I think. Okay. What do we got going on? So now that the infected asteroids are dealt with... Oh, shit. Spore balls. It's been that, that long since I fought a zombie base, I forgot all about, you know, fighting zombie bases. So now that the infected asteroids are dealt with, all we had left was... You know, I can just shut up now because, have a look, zombie base is destroyed. I was going to talk about how it only had an organic complement of three strike craft, which I'd already destroyed, but... I've also destroyed the star base, so pointless. Uh, that's a power thingy, yep. 
must have got broken open during the destruction of the base. Okay, and two flora blueprints, and we are done here. So, one less zombie starbase. Let's hit the next one then. Let's just keep on moving through them. Um, probably should have picked up that 200 rares, but it doesn't matter. And that's the thing. I probably, um, the reason, oh god. Let's just start again. Take a deep breath. Uh, in a previous episode, I mentioned that uh, I had started picking up more res from those piles than the 140 I had previously picked up. And I realized it was probably because I had been taking the scavenging perks. And therefore now I get uh, all of the contents of one of those res piles. But neither here nor there because we're going to attack this zombie base. And first up, yet again, let's go for this side because there are two asteroids over here. Bang, bang, did we get it? Dead center, and... You know, I think last time around, uh, my fighters must have... Nope, actually, maybe not. I was going to say the fighters must have already cracked the outside, allowing the mass drivers to go in, but as you just saw them... A single uh, double salvo, crushed it, popped it right open, destroyed it. Let's turn around, we will go and do the same thing to this last one. And then we'll deal with the base. To be honest, with the amount of power that I'm throwing out, I think a threat 30 base, um, I could probably destroy it and not even worry about the infected asteroids, but let's not develop bad habits that could get us killed later. That guy's dead. God, did you see how quickly his shields went down? Let's turn around. So, oh, there we go. Mass drivers at it again. Bang. Dead. Okay, let's pick up this tug blueprint and be on our way. And yeah, you're probably thinking, um, could you, you know, maybe look at the money shot next time? Sorry, Vass is sorry that he's a moron. Let's get on with it. Okay, back to the star map. Now, this time we will pick up this res. Excellent. What's coming for us? Something's coming for us. <gasps> Zombie alpha. He's probably not technically coming for us. He's probably coming to take over uh, Omicron Ridge. But... Anybody curious if I could take him on? This is probably the worst idea I've had in a while, but as you just noticed, I saved the game. As long as nobody else comes and interferes like this guy, oh god. I really wanted to just, you know, give it a good go, but somebody had to come and interfere. Now, the problem is, I have no idea whether, or I think judging by the speed, that is probably the zombie alpha coming towards me right now. Let's try and get out of here. There's eggs everywhere. There's everything everywhere. Nearly out of boost juice. Let's keep... Oh, actually, are we pulling ahead of him? Oh, we might have been, but then I ran into an asteroid. Okay, powder shield's still going. Let's get some more boost back. Oh, damn. I think that A is the zombie alpha, and B... I don't think I'm doing any damage to him whatsoever. Okay. Yes, please destroy that strike craft. How are we doing? Still got a bit of juice in the capacitors. Not a lot though. Okay, so come on, please take this guy out before I run out of capacitor juice. Getting shot with pulses. Got a bit of booster. Ooh, plasma discharger. That's nasty. Okay, come on. Get me capacitors back. I'm going to need them. Ooh, plasma discharger. Got me good. Okay, come on. Excellent. Just take out whatever is close. And that plasma discharger missed. That's awesome. 
because we don't like plasma discharges around here. Let's put the uh, powder shields, not worried about the pulsar. And can we take that out? He's got no shields, take him out while well, he's got no shields. Come on, excellent, solid hits, solid hits. And excellent. Now let's deal with this little shithead over here. Okay, so here come all my drones. Take out his shields and we will be able to... Ooh, let's... Yeah, let's get a bit more distance between us and what I believe is the Alpha. Excellent. Yeah, definitely the Alpha because I'm fairly sure he had the Cruels. Let's boost away a bit, and there we go. That'll give my mass drivers a chance to hit. Yes, excellent. Now, okay, let's see. Okay, we're doing quite a bit of damage to those shields with my drones. So uh, if we can just maintain a bit of separation. Okay, excellent. His, his shield's down. Okay, let's slow down a bit. Don't let him get too far away. We need to maintain distance of 750. Okay, that's a little too close though. Okay, so... Okay, let's just... Let's get ahead and... Recharge the capacitors. Because we've already seen that our drones can indeed take out his shields, so uh, let's play the long game here. Of course, it's going to be. F um, did I just resist saying fucked then? I am Australian, I don't usually resist saying it. Um, anyway, what was I resisting? <laughs> oh, that's right, saying fucked, but what was I saying um, fucked about? I was saying that. We can take down his shields, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Wouldn't it be... I'm not going to say it again. I've already said it three times. Wouldn't it be screwed if this isn't the zombie alpha? If this is, in fact, the other guy that came to join and I am yet to face the zombie alpha. Okay, 750. That's, yeah, want to be below there. God, that's a lot of crap. Look at all this. How the hell am I supposed to pick out everything from all of this? Okay, come on. All I have to concentrate on is my shields, my capacitor, and the distance uh, from this guy, which has to be over 600, but below 750. It's not all that much to concentrate on. Come on. Okay, there's another zombie. We don't want to face another... Okay, this isn't the zombie alpha, I don't think. This is Robo Kill. Oh, bugger. Okay, um, that's problematic. That's really problematic. You all know why that's problematic, don't you? It's because this guy is a zombie officer. Unless, by some weird miscarriage of justice, he is actually weaker than Robokill, I now have to fight the zombie alpha. Whoa. Okay, well, he's got no shields. Maybe he is weaker than Robokill. I don't know, because... He just, oh, I think maybe just his shields are a lot weaker. Ooh, 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 getting too close. Come on. Come on. Uh, let's maintain a bit of separation here. Anything over 600, but... Whoa, okay. I don't know about him, but I know his strike craft are strong. Here, kill his strike craft. Yeah, I think it was just his shields that were weak, because he seems to be rather on the strong side. Okay, that would be right. I finally take down that Strikecraft shields and... I run out of capacitor juice. Okay, no, I'm going to have to start attacking him. Of course, eventually that Strikecraft will come back in because that's what they do. Let's just maintain a bit more separation. It's all good. All good. And a bit more. Come on, concentrate. There we go. Let's boost a bit. Let's get on an angle so that my um, guns can fire. Mass drivers are mean. 
Oh, actually, no, what am I thinking? They've got to be within 600 fire. Okay, we'll just have to leave it to me zappers and me bombers then. There's nothing else can be done. Okay, let's not get too far away. Uh, 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 let's not get too close either. Come on, boost out of there. Come on, there we go. Slowly working him down. Yep, that's the zombie alpha. And zombie alpha is is yes, excellent. That'll slow him down. He'll have to go back to his capital to um, get himself a new ship and put himself back together. Let's finish off the last of these strike. Oh, actually, there's more strike craft over there. I must have missed an asteroid or something. Not that it matters. All the asteroids will go grey now that um, now that the main combat is finished, which means all I've got to do is deal with those last two strike craft. But before we do that, let's grab these blueprints. Because we do not want to have to go all the way back here after going all the way over there. It's bad enough we've got to go all the way over there. Thankfully these guys are coming towards us at high speed. Oh, come on, Blueprints. Come on. You know you want to. Actually, there's three, not two. That's a hammerhead, isn't it? I always get the hammerheads and the shatters mixed up. Hammerhead, yep. Freighter. And what was the third one? Oh, it's a triglyph. So it wasn't even a large ship. Okay, here we go. Already up to... A thousand, or down to a thousand, I should say. And there we go, within fighter range. Flat cannon's taken out his ordnance as it comes in, and bang, he's gone. Yep, definitely from an asteroid. Because they are weak as piss. Okay, that should be it for this battle. Well, it should be it once I pick up this last blueprint. And done. Thank you, Mr. Mule. Back to the star map. Well... Wasn't that awesome? They actually picked up one of those uh, cruels from Mr. Robokill or whatever his name was. What was your name? Ooh, levels, yes. Excellent. Uh, weapon damage, we'll put that up. We will put up... Uh, reactor's already at 7. Weapon damage is at 7, so we will put up armor. New core slot. Excellent. So we're up to level 60 and we will put up reactors at 7, capacitors at 7. We'll put up health by plus 5. Holy hell, we went up a lot of levels. Um, that's what happens when you fight two high level guys at the same time. Um, what do we want? Capacitor, armor, or reactor? Capacitor, reactor, armor, all at 7. So reload speed, please. Wow, was that four levels I just went up? I think it was four levels. Okay, obviously, <laughs> I, uh, obviously I can't cure the zombie alpha, but Mr. Robo Buzzkill. Um, thing is, while I could cure him, I don't think I could recruit him because. Uh, either way, let's let's cure him. Um, He's going to have to go back to a base, obviously, but let's see which direction he goes. Oh, he's going back to one of my bases. That's pretty cool. Well, we will scavenge this pile. Uh, oh, parts and res. That's sweet. Um, yep. And we'll scavenge that one. And what zombie is this? Candy Dan. Attacking me. Actually, technically, he's not attacking me. He didn't make it in time. Oh, he did make it in time. Okay. Come on then, Candy Dan. Let me kick your candy ass. Uh, no, this isn't. I just, I was wondering. Wait a sec. Where was it? Whoa, plasma discharges. Let's do powder shields. And go through the center of this mess. Rather than trying to turn around... And getting all fucked up, we'll do it properly this time. Okay, let the boost recharge. Keep your thumb on the power to shields. 
Yeah, excellent. Good. Everything is going well. Apart from the fact this guy's hitting me with the leech beam, the little prick. Come on, drones, take him out. Or take out his shields, I mean, so then my mass drivers can do their work. Seriously. Wouldn't it be awesome if I had the particle hose here, like I'm thinking? <laughs> Damn, the moment his shields go down, he is screwed. Well, maybe not. He really took some damage. Yeah, there we go. Now he's screwed. Whoa, plasma discharger. Oh, just out of range of the plasma discharger. Okay. Let's take out this guy next because he doesn't even have sh Actually, let's recharge our capacitor. Maintain a bit of separation. Okay, let's go back in. In we go. And uh, mass drivers, mass drivers. Ooh, yeah. Done. Done like a dog's dinner done. Send in the drones against this guy. And... Bang. Done. Okay, now... Should we send in the... No, he's still got multiple strike craft left. We will take care of them. Let's do it properly. Strike craft done and you're the last one hope you're the last one whoa look at all those gravity missiles still if he's got that many gravity missiles he can't have a lot of other ordnance that's just insane who why why would you have that many because if you've got that many you're not going to have enough uh power to ugh. seriously another strike craft you're not going to have enough power to destroy whatever ship you stop dead. Engaging. Maybe his whole doctrine was to work in concert with his strike craft. Maybe that's why they've got the plasma discharges. So he slows the enemy down and then while they're slow and vulnerable, the strike craft pound them? I don't know. And either he was already damaged or at some point in the early battle I knocked his shields down and no that's impossible because when I went past him I just powered the shields the whole way um, okay let's slow down a bit my flak batteries are dealing with the uh, the missiles so let's yep try and stay above 750 until we see how long it takes to take down shields that's always a good indicator of how much power a ship has guess what dude Wait, are my drones doing him really good damage? No, they did a bit of damage, which is good. Let's drop below 600. Yeah, let's do it. We'll drop below 600 and see if he does have any weapons other than the... Um, other than the missiles. What the hell have you got? Not much. Okay, there goes my mass drivers. Spore balls. Mm, okay. Wow. You really hardly have anything. Yeah, I think that was his entire plan. Either work in concert with the um, with the strike craft or slow people down enough to hit them with spore balls because that was a really weird design. Gravity missile based design. Okay, let's pick up these uh, two remaining... Come on, turn around. These two remaining blueprints. And also give all these floaty bits time to explode into parts. If they're going to explode into parts. Which is a negatory. So back to the star map we go. And let's pick up all this garbage. No, oh, here we go. More levels. Me like levels. Let's put up the shields. Two levels, can't complain about that. Uh, let's put up weapon damage. And then let's scout. Oh, actually, no. First, let's go find. Is that him? No, that's a bandit. Ah, there it is. The last lone captain in existence, who is merely a lone captain because I 
Freed him from the horrible Lurgy. Okay, we'll pick up that. And let's see, did he make it yet? No, not yet. Let's scavenge this last part then. Okay, collect. Let's have a look at Robo Duty. Let's see, can I? Whoa. Yep. I can definitely recruit you. Full burn. Yes, we're doing a full burn. Doesn't look like anybody else is going to recruit you anyway, so we'll recruit you. We'll spin up here. And then. Actually, we'll do it the other way around because that's just way too slow. Come on, here we go. We will. Nah, it's not even worth collecting that stockpile. You know what it, things are worth doing? This. Transfer all this across because I don't know. I just feel funny about putting these things into storage for selling later when they're not yet disinfected. So let's disinfect. And the brick post we will actually want for now is. Now is? What the fuck sort of word was that? for now so we'll take this brick post and we will insert it right there insertion is fun okay so sniper cannon medium part um two gravity missiles that means that's a large part and two omni lasers medium part what's this that's a cruel double mac hammers that's an interesting little and a zapper pair. So, all of this stuff we will put away for later. Um, oh, actually, we've got a whole bunch of cash. So, what I might do is sell all this stuff. Actually, I just realised I've got more. I've only got one, though. Okay, just in case, I will hang on to uh, those three habitat decks and however I do want to sell some of this stuff um, the more of it the better really except most of this stuff is worth some real cash like some real cash um, I can sell both of them uh, no actually I can't I cannot. What am I thinking? Okay, so get rid of both of them and that's where I've got something that's forty-four hundred. No, no, no. Okay, we'll just get rid of the chicken hook left then. Okay, trade that over, and I assume there's nothing here that I want. No, 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 no. Actually, I don't think there's anything I need anymore. Not until I get uh, those last two cores. I get to level 70, basically. Yes, level 65 should get me 20. And level 70 should get me my 21st and final core. Which means I want to dump the rest of this, at least for the moment, in here. Dump, 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 dump. Transfer. Excellent. I'll just hang on to all of that, actually. Um, I need 70 goons. Whoa, this is going to be difficult. Yeah, that'll do. 61 will do. And, yep, I'll just hang on to that scrap. Excellent. So, now we were chasing that lone captain. And I could... Actually, that's probably him there. Yep, that is him there. Okay, so we'll chase him down. We will recruit him. And then we'll go back into zombie territory and make a nuisance of ourselves with the zombie alpha temporarily defeated like a Nazgul uh, that's lost his form. We will... okay. Who is he fighting against? A pirate? Let's help him then. Knowing my luck, he will lose his ship by losing the battle. And I'll have to follow his little cryogenic casket all over the place again, which would suck. So let's just go in, 
run into this asteroid. Ah, oh, damn, and into and take out his ship. Come on, come on, you can do it. And once those shields are down, there we go. Oh yeah, damn, he's almost lost his shield. So I'm glad I did rush in like a moron. Come on, blow it away. Okay, turn off your guns. Turn off your guns. We do not want the battle wagon mode destroying our ally's ship. Or, not our ally, not yet. Ally to be. Okay, turn all the guns back on. For two reasons. One, the only enemy left is right in front of me. I'm sure even the AI couldn't fuck this up. And two, because I do not want to go into the next battle having forgot to turn on the battle AI. Having already done that once today. I don't know, was that? No, it was last episode, wasn't it? Uh, but I filmed five in a block, so for me it was earlier today. Wow, let's, um... Let's take it temporarily. Let's... Whoops, we are going up on the... What do I mean, whoops? We want to go up another level. It's not like I made a bloody mistake. Okay, um, increase capacitor, increase health, increase armor, oh, increase capacitor. Um, let's recruit Robo Buzzkill. And then, what, what was the other thing we wanted to do? Oh, that's right. Transfer that Giza. And chip it. There we go. Excellent. That's done now. Uh, what we want to do is head back up into zombie territory let's track down zombie alpha actually see if no nope, he hasn't got a ship back yet which is awesome um in fact that's one of the major benefits in his territory being so big because i'm fairly sure he has to go all the way back to the zombie capital to regenerate which gives me time to absolutely make a mess out of zombie territory. A lot of these are completely destroyable. However, um, wow. However, I actually am going to have to call it for today. So let's just have a look at everywhere else. Sunhunter line has not changed in a long while. Um, did he fortify these territories? He has started to fortify these territories, so there is no assurance that the uh, Void Militia will take that back over. Although they have put a bounty on this one. Of course, the bounty is only one step to taking back a zombie starbase, because look at all the zombies that are lingering around here. Any of which could come to the rescue if the Void Militia attacks one of these bases. So some of these are quite formidable. 124 threat, 117 threat. Um, yeah, yeah. So there is no guarantee whatsoever that the Void Militia can take back these bases. And of course, on the Southern Front, I have destroyed two zombie bases. I uh, cured one zombie of the Lurgy and... Uh, defeated two others yes two others uh, one of which was the zombie alpha but um, unfortunately I'm going to have to call it for this episode sadly that's all I've got time for give me your thoughts down below and like and subscribe as you will until next time take care of yourselves and most importantly have a good one